Karigane Stem Tea versus Kukicha Stem Tea. Hello everybody, welcome to The Daily Sip. My name is Oliver and my mission is to bring you closer to organic Japanese green tea. And today what we are going to dive into is actually to discover uh, two different kinds of stem teas in this session. One is the Karigane and one is the Kukicha. But what are actually stem teas? Stem teas are coming uh, from a normal mix of sencha leaves with their stems. So kuki meaning stem and cha meaning tea. But um, this tea actually was a little bit hidden in the dark in the last 200 years and it, did, it came over time a little bit more to the front because in early times when uh, the farmers harvested the leaves and they pre uh, produced the leaves mainly for the middle of for the middle upper class or for the upper class so it was quite an expensive um, good to buy then they had to take out the stems because of aesthetic reasons because when you look at the stem tea in general Japanese don't like the look too much so it is not a beautiful dark leaf tea which is for example a high grade sencha or a sencha in general so it was a little bit of tea which was held back by the farmer but they, instead of throwing them away they were just drinking and drinking them because on the flavor side this tea is nearly as good or some of the stem teas they can really compare with a good sencha so that uh, was a little bit how this tea evolved but over time also this tea were discovered because also of, the, of their good value for money because often the stem teas are cheaper than the normal senchas so it is a quite a good and a nutrient rich uh, tea which you can drink also if you don't want to spend too much money or you want to have a little bit of a preferred or preferential price versus sencha then within the stem teas and here i have two uh, two candidates uh, two different kinds one is the karigane and one is a kukicha the main reason or the main difference between these two teas actually the kukicha can come from a stem tea of any kind so it can be a sencha uh, it can be a sencha it can be a bancha so we talk a little bit about the lower grade teas or um, we can talk about high grade teas and there often the farmers they name them karigane so they can come from a sencha and sometimes they name them sencha karigane or they're coming directly from Gyokuro. Gyokuro is the highest grade emperor's tea, longest shaded tea and most nutrient and especially umami rich tea in Japan. So strong in the savory taste profile. And here we have especially, or we have a uh, Karigane, which is coming from a Gyokuro from the region of Kagoshima Shibushi. So um, here I want to really go into the taste of these two teas and they're coming from the same farmer. They're both coming from uh, Mrs. Sakamoto, a Gyokuro farmer. So actually they're both Kariganes, but what we have to, uh, what I uh, will dive into is a little bit the difference of his tea, especially that he has with the Kukicha, what you see here, it's this one here. This one here has a little bit more stems than this one. So we are going to dive into the taste of these teas and then um, see a little bit what are the particularities of each tea. What we can say in general is that the kukicha tends to go a little bit more in the sencha direction. So when you have a kukicha often um, you have either a little bit of these hayish notes, a little bit the drier notes or a little bit of greener and grassier notes quite minerally. Meanwhile the karigane tends to be very sweet due to the fact that it's coming often from the high grade sencha like a kabusi sencha or a gyokuro there the umami uh, amount is quite high so the savory aspect of the of the tea is very strong so you go more in a little bit of a fruity more a little bit of a sweet and savory taste profile so these are the main differences between the kukicha and the karigane but i'll dive into the taste right away um just a last thing before i dive into the tasting is what is actually one of the good benefits or the real benefits of a stem tea is that the caffeine level is quite low due to the fact that you have leaves and stems mixed together and the leaf amount is lower actually automatically also the amount of caffeine is lower um, in the tea itself so it is actually a good thing tea to brew also in the evening often when i'm a little bit tired in the evening 
I uh, brew myself also a kukicha because it is also quite rich in minerals. The reason the mineral or uh, the, the amount is as rich in the kukicha or in the karigane is that the minerals often they pass through the stems into the leaves so everything good that goes to the leaves or most of the goodness of the leaf passes through the stem so that's why it's quite it has lot, a lot of minerals and micronutrients in the this tea and that's why also um, it is part of the macrobiology diet yeah that's the word and then um, people refer to this tea as very rich and you have a low caffeine content so a very good option also if you are if you have kids kids can also buy this uh, buy and drink this tea and uh, we have uh, just uh, people who are also a little bit sensitive to the caffeine this tea can be very interesting for you good so but uh, let's dive into the tea and then we're gonna have a tasting so i prepared five grams of each of these teas and we're gonna taste them with around one minute a little bit more than one minute we will do we'll brew these teas so both of them are organic as all of our teas um here um what the difference is or why mr sakamoto who is a who is a gyokura farmer positions them is that he makes a mix of more stems and less leaves and here with the karigana so the higher grade he has a little bit more leaves than uh, than stems than the other one so here we talk about 30 so the 70 20 80 mix so 80 percent 70 percent um, of stems 20 to 30 percent leaves here we talk around 50 50 and this is also the reason why this tea for example has a little bit or is i expect it to be a little bit sweeter and be a little bit kind of smoother and more fruitier while the other one can might tend to be a little bit more grassy but now i'm very curious to find this out and see what actually the difference of this tea is Good. So now I think we're there. Five seconds more, and we're gonna pour this tea. Good, so what you can already see in terms of color, you see that this one here is slightly darker and this one here has a little bit more of greenness. So showing clearly that this one here has a little bit more of uh, the stem color in the, li the liquid, while this one here seems to have quite a big amount of the leaves. And it is just a little bit more green, a little bit jade green, this one here. So it's quite interesting in terms of uh, to see the visual difference and how w different parts of the tea can actually give color then to the, uh, the liquid which you're drinking then the tea water really turning here more into a milky kind of greenish golden color and here a little bit less milky more uh, kind of golden or dark golden color but now let's see what the taste difference is have quite a sweet flavor but directly followed by a nice hay flavor so I have a little bit more of a fresher tea it's quite warming from the inside and this is also due to the fact that it is so mineral rich it is considered also to have a warming effect and the special uh, I read once that also people who uh, have a kind of a, are lacking in nutrients or certain nutrients this tea can really have an activating effect and it also boosts your metabolism so this tea has an warming effect and I really can feel it when I drink it it's not kind of a refreshing or fresh tea but it's kind of a of a sweetness and then this hayish flavor gives a little bit of warmth to the body so I kind of uh, have a kind of have this feeling of drinking 
a warming or body warming tea. Very good for winter time, definitely. I have a little bit of a of a sweet kind of a fruity but not too fruity it's kind of a fruit flowery tone and then going over into a more kind of a hayish flavor but still staying very smooth very sweet in my palate with a little pinch of dryness to it it's a uh, it's very this 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 slight hayish flavor it doesn't get too dominant you have some kukiches which are which are quite dominant on the dry flavor profile so a little bit giving you a little bit of a dry mouth feel this one here stays very on the sweet side and then turns a little bit uh, more into this uh, hayish and warming mouth feel and body feeling and now let's go into the carigane Mm -hmm. so massive taste difference here here we have really i feel like i'm nearly biting into a fruit in kind of a mango papaya this is all the fruits which i get from this tea so it's much sweeter much less of this hay flavor it's nearly non-present a little bit in the end i feel kind of a small hay kind of fine note a really delicate hay note in the end but it's highly dominated by kind of a fresh and uh, not not a fresh but a, a fruity like fresh fruit flavor profile so it's it's staying quite strongly on this side of the spectrum where you have a nice fruitiness you have a smoothness you have a little bit more of a density also in the liquid so it's a little bit denser it's a little bit kind of feels nearly a little bit more uh, thicker but it doesn't get kind of uh, too savory like Yukuro tends to bring you really in this savory taste spectrum here we are staying it's kind of that uh, that uh, stems they are counterbalancing the savoriness so it doesn't drift off too much into savoriness but it stays strongly in this fruity flavor profile mm -hmm. when i have it in my mouth and i just um, get through a little bit of air I can feel the hay notes, I can feel them, but they're not very present in the taste itself. Well, with this one here, mm -hmm. it's kind of a more of a, of a grain kind of a, I've, I have a little bit more of the taste profile of, of fresh grains, while here with this one here, So with the carigan, I have really this smooth sweetness of fruit, papaya, mango. It's very, very nice on this fruity aspect. So definitely quite a good difference. And this really explains well or brings to the forefront, even though it's both of the teas are coming from a Gyokuro, the Kukicha shows quite a good aspect of um, uh, the typical Kukicha coming also from a Sencha. I think due to the fact that it's coming from the Gyokuro, it's, it reaches kind of a, to, a, to a quality level where you have not this too typical dry mouthfeel, which you can get from a little bit of a lower and a little bit less quality Kukichas. And it's the, the smoothness and the theanine, so the amino acid counterbalances this effect a little bit, which gives you a nice fla hay flavor, but uh, not too dry and then keeps a good balance but go, giving much more space to the hay flavor profile. I'll finish this up and do a second brewing. Good. Here only 20 seconds is enough. We don't need more. We can really pour it in quite uh, directly. So taking the second one. So the milk tone of the Carigane has become a little bit weaker. So I guess these two teas, they are moving a little bit together taste-wise. If you look at the, the liquid, here you still have a quite this golden color here you have it 
um, a little bit less milky and I believe that they're now moving closer together these two teas so let's see mm -hmm. Kukicha leaving quite a lot of space still for this hay flavor the sweetness has gone a little bit down so it's a little bit of a more uh, of a warm it becomes even more warm more kind of this this slight hay flavor and now let's have a look how the mm -hmm. hmm. so it's still very sweet so there's still quite a good difference between these two teas so they stay quite consistent to their uh, flavor here the fruitiness goes a little bit down it leaves a little bit more space so here the second brewing moves shifts a little bit more in the direction of the kukicha but we stay still pretty strongly in the fruity aspect of the tea while here we definitely have a good development of uh, this hay flavor profile a little bit late summer grass flavor profile um, while the fruitiness or the sweetness of the tea goes a little bit down so we have a slight move in the direction of the kukicha but the kukicha stays goes also a little bit more into a hayish flavor so there's quite a difference also in the second brewing of these teas so what i can say more or less as kind of a of a recap of these two teas when you go for a kukicha you often have a little bit more of this hayish flavor profile it might be a little bit drier this late summer grass a little bit more of kind of of grains um, a flavor profile which you can ta take out maybe it's even going a little bit in the slightly slightly roasted flavor profile while this one here so the carigane we are talking really about uh, very fruity very sweet well balanced with a slight hay note but staying quite consistent on the fruity side of the of the spectrum of the taste spectrum so carigane i would say if you're looking more for a smooth for a sweeter uh, but low caffeinated uh, stem tea then carigan is definitely something which could fit, fit you well if you're more looking for a little bit of a, of a drier flavor profile a little bit more hay flavor profile late summer grass and not too much of the sweetness and uh, not too much on this fruitiness then definitely the kukicha can be your favorite good so i hope you like this one here too I will end the session here and if you have a question or if you have a topic which you like me to cover i'll be happy to do so and i wish you just a great start into 2020 see you soon happy to have had you and maybe see you tomorrow bye <laughs>